Um, in terms of, of knowing what to order and what to get in the store, so this way a customer is you know, not going to be disappointed when they show up and, and a title's either sold out or, I mean, there's so many comics. Uh, I've got a, an old copy of, of previews and it's, this is from back in, uh, I think, yeah, March, March, 2017. This was when the Alterna newsprint line debuted. Um, and Jetpack Comics, uh, which is a local shop near here, they were, they were nice enough to give this to me for free. And, and that was cool of them. But um, so previews is thick. Now, I did a survey maybe about a month ago mm -hmm. on Twitter. It's just a stupid informal survey. <laughs> and I was really disappointed to find how many people not only have no idea what the previews catalog is, oh. but the ones that do know what it is don't really use it. And it's it's something that the industry is is so it's it's like the linchpin of the Linda of the whole comic industry. For those that don't know, this this catalog is kind of kind of poorly named because it is a preview in terms of what's coming out but it, it doesn't mean everything in here is going to be in your comic shop you know if it was called like pre-orders maybe that would be a little bit more helpful because it's so hinging on pre-orders and it, it'd be one thing if it was a magazine if it was a catalog that was just for the retailer to look through and that's pretty much it but it's supposed to be something that customers use as well and the fact that most customers have no idea what it is i think it was something like like 70% of people had like no idea what previews was. And these are people that, that read comics because the, the poll was something along the lines of if you read comics, do you use previews? And I didn't want to go further in depth than that because if they do use right. it, they know what it is. And it was something like 70% out of like 500 or something people that, that responded. And that's kind of a disturbing statistic to me because there should definitely be better education for what this thing is if we're going to, as an industry, rely so heavily on it so you know maybe like walk us through what we need to do to pre-order comics how we're going to do it i know there's a short order form in here um something that would be helpful to a new customer that's coming into the shop that that wants to know how they can get the books that they want to get yeah so previews is um you know big giant book this is last month's previews um, at our store, all the subscribers get this as um, for free as part of their um, subscriber benefit. So each month when it comes out, when they come to pick it up, up their pull list, they get one of these. Um, so there's regular previews, and then there's Marvel previews, and now there's DC previews. <laughs> um, so it's it's a lot. It's a, it is a lot. Um, there's also image previews, which I can and, and Marvel and DC previews, they, those cost money. Um, they are free with um, with the regular previews. Oh, okay. So Marvel's not doing the thing anymore where it, it costs separate. I don't believe so. Let me see. Or that that might actually be something that maybe shops were doing by me, but some it, shops like yours. It might have been free. before. I think it might have been like one ninety nine or free with previews. Um, so more but, than an alternate comic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a whole series for less than a Marvel comic um, or one for less than Marvel previews. That's um, kind of funny. Well, an image previews is free with previews or it's one ninety nine. So that's what image is doing now. But I, I have to have one around here that I can grab quickly and I can show that then also that's more of an actual preview where they do show you panels from upcoming issues, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's cool because it's an indie um, publisher, too. It's kind of like the Marvel DC of indie publishers, but indie nonetheless. Um, so previews, you, it's flipped now. So the front, the first part is all comics. And then when you flip it over, you get your figures. Oh, so cool. my favorite part is looking in the beginning. If you ordered one of everything from the issue, uh -huh. it would cost $75,000. $75, Sweet. So I think that's Sign me thing. up. Yeah, I think that's the <laughs> thing that they put in there. I just I find it funny, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, as you go through, um, they actually give you they have a user's guide in here. So if you do pick it up, you shouldn't be intimidated because they kind of walk you through like like when you go to a restaurant and there's all the symbols. Like it tells you if it's spicy or if it's a 
restaurant specialty or gluten-free or vegetarian. They have that. So um, they have, you know, a previews exclusive or if it's a staff pick or certified cool, that's, that's going to be a lot of the indie stuff. They're going to mark those. Um, and you flip through and it goes by publisher. So it starts in the beginning with um, image comics and you can go through and see um, some new things. It gives you a little snapshot and it'll read, it gives you just a little um, synopsis, just a little um, write up about the, um, either if it's a new series or they'll tell you what's going on in the next issue from where you left off. And so this tells you, so this is for, May. This was May's previews, but then it's for what's coming out in July. So they solicit two months ahead of time, which is a big thing to note because we put our orders in, we put our initial orders in, and then we can reorder as we need things, as people sign up for more, but we base it on what people are ordering right then. So there could be an issue that becomes really popular, but there's a final order cutoff. Most of the time, it's it's okay. We can order more after, but you have times when an issue is really popular. It happened with the most recent Amazing Spider-Man run. It hit in the like 790, 789-ish, 788, and it, it was all sold out. It was all backward. Couldn't get it, and people started signing up for it, but it was too late. I didn't have enough coming in because it was after the final order cut off, so you know, by, by no fault of their own because they didn't realize that the storyline was great. Um, but it happens, and it happens a lot with indie comics too because there's such a small print run. So it's a big thing for retailers to know with indie comics especially because there are so many indie comics that we don't know what you want unless you tell us. So... You know, we get a lot of the different number ones and I'll go through and if I say, see like, okay, um, once you flip through, you get towards the back and you get towards the more um, indie publishers and I know which ones I'm looking for. You know, I know that I like to see, I love to see what comes out of Aardvark Vanaheim. I love to see the Cerebus stuff that's coming out. I think they're great. Um, and I like to see what's coming out of Red 5 and um, Aftershock. I always look through to see what's coming from Alterna, even though I know we're already getting what comes from <laughs> guys, <laughs> but I still like to see what's going on. Um, and then, um, yeah, so like there's Eden, number one in there. I know we're already getting number one, but I like to look through it because then I also know where to point it out to customers and be like, okay, well, this is coming, but you can read about it. Find out if you want to add it onto your pool list. Um, Albatross, things like that. Those are the smaller, um, really indie, creator owned publishers. And those are the ones that we're going to get number ones that we can get, but we can't get them all. And if we get the number ones and you buy them, but you don't put it on your pull list, we're going to assume that you weren't interested. So we're not going to order number two or we'll order number two, but not as many. And then not number three, because we can't get every comic and have them all in our store and have them sit there. So, as much as I want to, you know, I want to get all the indie comics. I want all of them. I want the $75,000 in my store, <laughs> but it's hard because we run into this issue of, you know, are we going to provide them with what they want or are we going to take away space from something else that's going to be popular and then not be able to get that for them. So it's really important as a customer to, when you like something, let us know. And if you like the writer, if you like the publisher, tell me, because I might, I'm not reading all of the comics. I'm ordering them. So I pick up on that stuff. But unless you say like, hey, you know, Alterna is putting out some really neat books. They get some cool writers. Then once you say that, okay, I'm going to keep an eye out for that publisher. And that's how I've found a lot of the indie publishers that I, follow, like, I pay attention to now from my customers because they point it out and then I start looking, I go, yeah, these are pretty cool. So it's, it's a really big deal to make sure that you're communicating with your comic shop. The sad part about it is a lot of the time I'm finding that people find out about the books after, like they'll find out in the in-between month of ordering to when it comes out. 
Now, if your store did not get this book, like obviously you guys are getting it, but if you didn't get it, and even if you didn't ever even hear of Alterna, because we actually have some some little buzz in the chat about people that are trying to tell shops about Alterna and they're turning their nose up about it. Yeah. And they're having a really bad experience. <laughs> so so they, they said they wish they had Jaff Comics as their Jaff local comic shop. ships everywhere. But yeah, <laughs> yep, Jaff Comics ships everywhere. So if you guys want to order from a great local comic shop that's not quite in your town, but still a local comic shop to somebody, there you guys go. We've but, um, even had a subscriber that was in Guam that we sh shipped out to. Every that's that's so. awesome. Yeah, yeah, so if... If someone comes in wanting that, is that possible to do? It, it, yes. Can you get? You can. That's great. Yes. So the so like with previews, let's say um, let me pull up the Marvel one. Marvel has Marvel and DC have the checklist. That's the one thing I do really like that they have um, that you can go through and see like okay, I want to make sure I don't miss this because sometimes you're flipping through and there's so much it's really easy to miss stuff. But if I look and I see that there's um, Okay, there's um, Immortal Hulk number three, which means I've already missed ordering one and two if I'm the customer going in. Okay, so, or Psych uh, Psycho KO, because, you know, he's coming out with his, the single issues, right? Yep. So, um, if I've, I see number three solicited in previews, I've missed ordering one and two, but one's not out yet. Even if it is out, I can go to my shop and say, listen, I want to subscribe to this. Can you get me one and two still? So again, as long as it's available for us to order, we can put it on your list. If it's not out yet, it should come in. As long as it's before two weeks out, it should come in with the release date. It might be a week late if it's like really close, um, but it should come in. And then we can just put that number two on there and then you're good to go. You're set moving forward. Um, if the books are already out, if already been released, you know, say number one came out this week, I heard about it, I read a review online, it sounds really cool, I want the rest of them. Come in, talk to your shop and say, you know, can you get me number one? And they should be able to, it should be just like if they walk up to the shelf, if you walk up to the shelf and see that all of Batman 49 sold out, um, can you order more? You can't order more of Batman 49 because it's all sold out and they're probably going to second print. But <laughs> In that case of, you know, if it's available for us to order still, we can order back issues. I can order back issues of tons of stuff. I can order back issues of series that have stopped um, as long as they're available through Diamond. Um, and in the case with Alterna, um, if it's sold out through Diamond, then, and well, previously, um, if it was sold out through Diamond, we would contact you directly to find out what we were, what we could do. Um, and my shop personally, if we can't get something, I have my in search of list. So, um, if a customer is looking for something like a back issue and it's, it's just, you know, they need it to fill in their collection or whatever. I have a list that I put down so that when I go out to other shops, um, I look for it. And if I can grab it at another shop, I pick it up. Um, or we'll do, we'll do anything possible to, to fill those orders for them. If that means having to look at other, you know, um, venues to, to, you know, access it, we'll do that, but we do what we can to get it for them. Um, yeah. So yes, if you have missed the first ordering within that first ordering period, yes, you can order it. Um, so, um, was it Eden? Eden was in May's catalog. I can yep. still subscribe someone to Eden starting at number one. Even That's though great. Now June. Cool. Yes, that was the long and short of it. Your questions, comments, and thoughts are always appreciated. And if you'd like to send us something, you can send it to the official Alterna Comics P.O. Box. Thank you for watching and reading.